Gechian is a 6-star support who focuses on amplifying the damage potential of reality characters. He is the first to introduce a new mechanic, a ray, a field effect that can be stacked with other buffs instead of overlapping them, thus creating the possibility of extremely powerful combos. When it comes to choosing a support for your team, you may opt for a universal support, like Shamane or Six, who are great for mixed teams, but are a bit limited in how much they can amplify the team's damage potential. Getian is laser-focused on supporting reality characters, so you should use him either on full reality teams, or if you are focusing all your damage on a reality hypercarry. The benefit from this choice is that Getian allows for much higher damage amplification than a universal support. Getian has a very passive playstyle. Most of his damage comes from Admonition, an attack unleashed at the end of the round on all enemies under the Shape of Bones status. It's important to note that Admonition isn't considered a follow-up attack or extra action. At Insight 3, he applies Shape of Bones to a random enemy at the beginning of every round, making it easier to upkeep his damage source. Old Bones doesn't have anything special regarding its scaling. Its main function is to apply the debuff Shape of Bones. As the last Mian Monk bird, Getian dislikes direct confrontation, and it's through this debuff that most of his damage will come. Every time an ally attacks a target under Shape of Bones, the target will take additional Genesis damage based on Getian's attack. Unique bearing is Getian's channel skill. It works differently from Junyan's channel, as Getian can still act while under the channel status, and this status will last forever as long as he has Eureka. At the end of the round, he will consume two Eureka to cast Admonition, a powerful lightning strike on all targets affected by Shape of Bones. Getian's most distinctive skill his ultimate places the array a prophecy told on the field. You may be wondering what an array is. An array is simply a field effect or domain. Yes, like the ones in Animus. There can be only one array active at any given time, and you can check when there is one active and for how long it will last by the name on the top left corner of the screen. This means that Getian can directly counter array placed by bosses such as Fading Embers and Dying Thunder from the Beast of New Yang. Since it isn't regarded as a regular buff, the damage bonus provided by a Prophecy Toad can stack with the bonuses provided by buffers. Finally, another great use for Getian's ultimate is to apply or refresh Shape of Bones on all enemies at once, making it very easy for him to upkeep all his bonuses and passive damage at all times. Since Getian's playstyle is so passive, the best tip I can give is to give priority to your carries cards while you generate Moxie to Getian by moving or merging his cards passively. That way, you will always be ready to refresh a Prophecy Toad, as well as have Eureka on demand for him, or you can use Old Bones in a new enemy that entered the battle. Portraits. There isn't much to say here. Portrait 2 is a luxury that will make your life much easier, especially for 3 people content, but it isn't a must. Psy 2. Same old story is Getian's best in a slot. It's a Psy 2 tailored for him, with the only downside that it is too specific to Getian. If you don't want to spend on building a Psy 2 for only one character, his next best options are her second life for some extra healing and attack, and Blasphemer of Night for more damage if playing him with a more active approach. As 
already explained, Gatian's focus is on supporting reality characters. This brings a small problem in terms of team building, especially for three people teams if you have him at P0. As the only reality dedicated healers we have currently are Balloon Party and Sotheby. You can also opt to be creative with your sustain choices by using shielders or other sources of healing. If you have him at Portray 2, you can use Tooth Fairy, Six or other healers and supports more easily. Starting with a Beast Team example, here we have Spatadia as the main carry, but characters like Centurion or Sweetheart also work. The sustain slot can be filled by the likes of Balloon Party, Tenant and Desert Planner. In a 4 people team, Tooth Fairy, Medicine Pocket, A Knight and the upcoming Isold are good additions. Speaking of Isold, her combo with Getian is currently one of the most powerful in terms of amplifying damage, since both their respective buffs and the buffs can stack. So keep your eyes peeled. Alternative team for Jin and Zhu. This team is very self-contained and caters a bit more to survival. If you have Getian at Portrait 2, you can swap Balloon Party for Tooth Fairy, Six, 37, Annan Lee or even Soneto. Depending on how confident you feel, someone can bring her second life for healing. For a 4 people version, any of the already mentioned characters can work, adjusting the composition depending if you have Getian at P0 or P2. Patch 1.6 brings a buff to Jessica in the form of Getian. He is a breath of fresh air to the poison team, allowing higher damage scaling for Jessica. Port slot examples include Cornbloom, Six, Kendra, A Knight, and An Lee, and Isolde. As always, thank you for watching. If you want to support my work, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I also want to give a shout out to all channel members for the continued support. That's all for today and see you next time.